spending just over a week here in Brussels um, is one of the best ways actually I think I can take part in, in something like these climate change negotiations which at an international level is very inaccessible for young people like me and my friends. Some of the things that we are doing here in Brussels are things like skills building, sharing our learning, teaching one another about issues and also taking actions um, in response and in solidarity with people who are also taking action out at the climate negotiations um, in Durban. We did a photo op in front of the European Commission building today. have an immense power to inform and inspire and make a change. They can connect us, let us together get motivated. I'm afraid, Max, your face will have to be hidden. It's especially windy here because of all of the big, tall, ugly commission buildings. Hold it, hold it. Now. We were trying to learn how to speak in front of medias because uh, it's very important to send our messages uh, all over the world and if we want people to listen to us we have to find a good way to say our message to them. Your main message is, has to be really memorable, really to the point. It's more, uh, more pressure. But then you really realise also that sometimes you aren't the right person to speak to. When you watched it back, I see myself very much different, you know, not just physically. <laughs> what message was she trying to get across? I am making a blog for the Durban in Brussels website. And what's going to be in the blog? The blog is about a visit that we did yesterday to a farm um, where they produce local and organic vegetables that we've actually been eating at the Convergence. It's fresh, it's local, and it's good uh, with the heart. Yummy, 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 I got love in my tummy and I feel like I'm loving you. Love you such a sweet thing, good enough to eat. So these are all patches which we just painted straight onto the, um, onto the screen and it'll be much more durable. Like most things in life, it's more fun to do in twos. One person holds the frame, the other person does the frame. How's the block coming along? I finished it. Really? Yeah. I'm trying to put it online. We're doing some great actions with um, put out messages to our leaders to tell them for, we want the strong agreement. But we need to tell more people about that. We need to get our messages out there. We need to tell our friends, we need to tell our family, we need to tell the public, we need to tell the, the media what we're doing. Um, and social media is really good for getting this message out there. This is the start of a new youth movement really across Europe and uh, social media can bring us together and help us work together when, when we're far apart. We're on our way to the EU Council. We've got an action plan where we're going to dance, make a speech, and throw up our banner in front of all the EU leaders that are gathering today. It's very funny because uh, we've been uh, we asked for the permission to do the action in front of the ETA office, which was refused by the police. But actually, they're now taking us into exactly the same space. Less 
American. More ambition, less emissions. More ambition. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good. EU, please speak up in Durban and save our future. I'm not alone. And it's giving me really energy that I will have friends and I will have supporters and sure I will have my children for what I'm doing all this work. That's a nice girl.